welcome to the Fragment where your views matter and we discuss fragrance and fine perfumes with the goal of helping you to up your fragrance game. Agree with me, disagree with me, that's what the comment section is for and I do read every one. If there is one fragrance in my collection that I return to again and again, it's Beau Du Jour by Tom Ford. It's uplifting, it's calming and it's 100% masculine. Launched in 2019 as a Tom Ford private blend before being moved to the signature line in 2020, Beau Du Jour was created, I believe, by Antoine Maison Dieu, who has fragrances such as Armani Code, Absolu, and Profumo, Mont Blanc Explorer, Legend Night, and Valentino Uomo, born in Roma, to his name. Classed as an aromatic fougere and formulated as an eau de parfum, for me, Beau Du Jour is a modern barbershop fougere, and the homage to the barbershop begins with the presentation. I have here the 100ml circular cylindrical signature bottle, which has corrugated ridge sides reminiscent of the early 1930s to 40s press moulded toiletry bottles. The ridging continues up to the silver cap, which features the Tom Ford initials logo, and a silver label is recessed into the bottle. The Tom Ford website describes the bottle as looks ribbed, which sounds decidedly prophylactic to me. So what does Beau Du Jour this fine day smell like? Well, let's get some in the air. Now in the top notes you have an immediate double hit of lavender and lavalin. So what's the difference between the two? Both from the same family, the only difference is in their scent profile. Lavalin is a hybrid lavender. It's sharp, strong and herbal. Most often used in extract as it produces ten times the fragrance oil of lavender. Lavender is sweeter and softer. Now this fragrance is Lavender Extreme. It's initially sharp, but quickly becomes cool, smooth and soothing. Now it's all happening in the heart, where the lavender is joined by other members of the family. There's rosemary, mint, basil, and they're all members of the mint family. They're green, fresh and uplifting. There's geranium in there, which is delicate, definitely floral, but definitely masculine, and keeps the herbal cousins from running riot. The base starts to toll out more masculinity, with a slight leather note from oak moss. Patchouli provides a deep woody tone, but still a green woody tone. Finally, amber warms, comforts, yet formalises the fragrance. On first spray, projection is excellent. A good two arm lengths, a good six foot imperial or 1.8 metres continental. Sillage again on my skin is excellent. A definite scent trail even after several hours. People will know where I've been. If you are someone that rates fragrances only in terms of longevity, then Beau Du Jour will tick a few boxes. I get a good 10 hours plus with the fragrance before it becomes a skin scent. But you should know me by now, a wash and brush up, change of shirt and reapplication will have taken place well before my fragrance mingles with armpit. Some of you may be shocked to discover that I'm in my late 50s now, and compliments these days are few and far between. But with Beau Du Jour, I do get compliments, and more than the usual for two reasons. Firstly, I do smell good. But equally, or perhaps more importantly, it makes me feel good, and that makes people far more receptive. So overall impressions, a fresh, green, aromatic barbershop fougere with a warm modern twist that I can dress up or dress down. It's fresh enough for summer, but in winter lightens my mood and puts a spring in my step no matter the season or time of day. As far as I'm concerned, that makes it a masterpiece, worth every penny and an essential part of my collection. Now I've run out of time and I'll catch you later.